expansion. They told me you like to turn these in. <laughs> so we've got here uh, y squared plus z squared equals 16. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, watch. X, my x, since it doesn't appear in the equation, my x could be anything. So let's say I'm in the yz plane. Yeah? If I'm in the yz plane, this equation would have been that of what? So this is R3 and this is R2. Yeah? Two dimensions, three dimensions. X, Y, Z. Okay. Now, if I'm in the uh, Y, Z plane, this would have been a circle. Yeah. Center 0, 0. Right? So here. And the radius of 4. So I could go 4 in every direction. Yeah, but what's X? That's the thing. Think of X as going up, yeah? For a moment, in the two dimensions. This is two dimensions. There's no x. But I'm saying this would have been a circle in the yz plane, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this would have been a circle here in this yz plane, yeah? Now, if we go to three dimensions, what's x? Well, x could be anything. It could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1.5, etc. So my point is, if I were to replicate this circle in the yz plane, it would look something like that, yeah? Mm. Mm. But then I could also have, this is at x equals 0, yeah? Because the center is here. But I could also have another circle with x equals 0 0.5, and with x equals 1, and with x equals 2. So I'm going to have a bunch of circles going forwards and backwards. So eventually, I will get what we call a cylinder. Because it will be just a bunch of circles parallel to the yz plane, but because there's infinite amount of them along the x-axis, yeah, because the x-axis is going to be going you know, through the center of, this, uh, of the cylinder, this is going to make a cylinder. It's sort of like the cam, a yeah? bunch of circles. Yeah? So yeah, in two dimensions, you have a circle, but because your x could be anything, you're replicating infinite amount of circles all along the x-axis. You get it? Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a cylinder, yeah, with radius. It's like a Pepsi can, yeah? Except yeah. it goes from minus infinity to plus infinity along the x-axis. Yeah. So this is a cylinder with radius 4. Yeah, because the circle had a radius of four, so the cylinder will be the same thing. And the x with an axis of symmetry, with the x axis being the axis of symmetry or the axis of the cylinder, with x axis being the axis of cylinder. Axis of cylinder that means going in the middle. Of yeah? So so if this is, say, the x, y, z plane, carry this for a moment so I could show you in two dimensions what it would be. So if, if this is the z and this is the x, right? Uh, this is the x and this is the y, right? right? x squared plus z squared would be a circle here, yeah? So it will be like a circle around your hand like this. But since x could be anything, you're going to make infinite amount of circles like this going all the way. So it'll be a cylinder along the x-axis. You understand? So there's a circle here, another circle here, another circle here, and you keep on going. Yeah. So this is this is a cylinder, yeah. This is hard to like picture. That does it for this question.